Shelly pass it up to Carbono and I saw Guy kind of going down the outside and he had a little step on the guy. So I just went as hard as I could to the net and he threw it to me. It was kind of, it wasn't on my stick. I let it hit my skate and it was just a luck thing. And I, you know, backhanded actually went off, um, went off the goalie and went in. So a lot of luck, you know, I screamed so loud that, you know, because it was in Calgary, you could hear, you know, a pin drop. And, you know, what I remember most is Larry Robinson coming in from the point or coming, you know, from the top of the circles. And uh, I'll never forget that moment, you know. Um, it was just crazy. And the fact that we were able to hang on there and win it in OT, you know, uh, you know that, that game was a pivotal game in the, in the series. The buildup was incredible. The Boston Garden, game seven. And then there was a caveat to the Ray Bork had been out, you know, prior to the playoffs, obviously a legend um, there. And so there was a lot of hype because Ray was returning for game seven. So place Boston Garden was crazy electric. Um, yeah, so first, yeah, it was my first shift um, of the game. Um, I played on a line with John Carter. Um, and I remember John, he made a great play through the neutral zone, beat a defenseman. I just, I was just driving to the net. Um, John made a great move, beat the D, rebound just came to me and it was really sitting, sitting there right outside the crease. So it just came charging in and, and uh, put it home. What I do remember a little bit of, I think it was a shot from the point. I think there was traffic is all I remember. You know, I don't, don't remember if it was a slap shot, a snap shot whatever but uh that's that's about all i remember about it you know obviously it's still a fun moment and you know but it's it's you know it means even less you know when you when you lose a game and probably you know maybe during a regular season game you're still a little bit you know like i got my first goal but when it's in the playoffs and the blow that deals you know when you only get four losses and you have one of them that night i mean it's uh it's tough it's tough to uh you know really enjoy it yeah, it was, a, I believe it was a dump in puck and, and Richter was behind the net and I skated, you know, to obviously chase it down and, and not really thinking he was going to, you know, put a hip or a shoulder into me. And next thing you know, he thumped me and I was laying on the ice and, and I just wanted to get back up into the play. So I, I you know, obviously got up and, and I remember it was, I believe it was Derek that uh, grabbed a turnover just inside the blue line and, and somehow Pierre had it and, and, uh, pass it over. I mean, he, he could have shot it himself, but he's known to be a passer. And, and it, it almost surprised me. I think my shot actually rolled up um, Richter's stick and just kind of trickled into the net. And, and uh, you know, it's not how many, it's, it's not how you score. It's just how many you score, I guess. Right. So, um, so it's pretty exciting. Both my line mates, again, Ryan Smith and Sean Horkoff said, anytime you, you get the puck on, on your stick, just let it go. Just, just shoot. So, Chris Pronger pinched down the left side of the boards and was able to keep the puck in and it kind of popped out to me in the, in the high slot and was able to just get it and, and let it go in it. Um, Manny Legacy, who uh, was, a, was a teammate of mine in St. Louis, shortly you know, uh, uh, thereafter uh, for a few years, was able to kind of catch him over the shoulder as he was going down. And uh, afterwards, just kind of after your first goal, that that feeling and that moment i think i turned around and jason smith our captain i kind of jumped jumped and um almost tackled him so it was uh it was a pretty exciting moment for sure